Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Maria Lizignoli. The Crown Act was first introduced in Wisconsin in 2019, then in 2021, and now again in 2023. This bill provides protection for people of color to wear protective styles, including braids, twists, and locks. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly sat down with a state representative about the act's importance. Cameron? Maria, after years of this bill not being created, it is finally being brought to the floor to be debated and passed. Right now, under law, people of color are only protected for wearing their hair in afros. <laughs> and I already sprayed your scalp with like this, like, yeah. um... What is that? The Crown Act in the state of Wisconsin was first introduced to lawmakers in 2019. The law prohibits discrimination traits historically associated to race, including hair texture and protective styles. State Representative Lakeisha Myers presented this act. They want this piece of legislation interactive. We did not receive any um, negative feedback in the two public hearings that we had. Currently under law, Afros are the only ethnic style protected. We run into some roadblocks at the state level in the committee process. We've had two hearings in the assembly. We've not had a hearing in the state Senate yet. Meyer says for many years, black women and men found hair survival techniques in the workplace, causing major heat damage and increasing rates of alopecia. As we continue to evolve as the melting pot that we are, um, it matters specifically to people who are in hiring capacities in workforces to understand that this is a part of human resources education. They go walk in like they going through it, leave out like they getting to it. DeMarcus Benton, the owner of the main experience, says he styles doctors, lawyers, and his mom. He says everyone should love what grows from their head. She, she comes in, I'll do her like a twist out. She'll wear the twist out for days and then unravel it. It'll be like a defined looking fro. <laughs> Changing lives one man at a time. One of his clients wore dreads for years and is now getting her hair straightened for the first time in 10 years. Being open and being respectful, understanding some kids have to go get the dreads and some kids have to go get the twist. And it's, uh, it's a big re representation of the black community to show them that that's beautiful too. Her message to kids. I think that's when the black is the most beautiful because nobody crown does what our crown can do. And I encourage kids to let their crown do whatever they feel they want it to do. Representative Myers tells me this bill has received major support every time it was introduced. Benton also says protective styles hold a lot of history. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15 News.